Disclaimer, I know that I need a shape up, haircut, etc. So just act like my face is on fleek right now because I'm really not. Yeah. up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rodney or rod teasley and what is popping with you guys you guys know i have been posting on my twitter that i'm going to be doing two videos this week yes i am because i feel like i need to fill in the gaps for the weeks that i have not done my videos so i'm going to be doing two videos today yeah, this is like part one of the one of the videos. Part two will be like later, but this is part one right now. So for this week's part one video, I've been tweeting. I said, you know what? I need to do something about tell the people who I love that they inspire me the most. So I said, well, why would I just do a video like and like tell them they inspire me the most? So I was like, yeah, Ronnie, that's a good idea. Why won't you do that? So for this week's video, I have decided to do four people that inspire me. Yeah, so here we go. Let's get into the video. The person who inspired me the most is goddamn Zoe. Yes, Zoe is amazing. Like, everything about Zoe is amazing. Like, his YouTube is amazing, his Vine is amazing, his Twitter is amazing, his Instagram is amazing, like everything about him is amazing, like everything he does is amazing, like he is so, 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 so funny. Like, okay, you guys, I'm telling you guys, Joe is so funny, like, especially on YouNow, because if you don't know what YouNow is, you need to go download it, they have it for Android, for all you Androids out there. And they most definitely have it for the iPhone. And guess what? I did not know this till the other day. They actually have it for iPad, which is cool because I have an iPad too. But anyway, yes, so he's on there all the time. And he's if you need a good laugh, I promise you every broadcast that he has, you will laugh at least one time. I don't care like what bad of a day that you're having. If you watch it on you now, you will laugh like pretty much through the whole broadcast. Yeah. So you know, if you don't have it, you need to go download you now like right after this video and like look for a goddamn Zoe and like watch it. I actually do talk to Zoe and you know and I actually do his graphic designs for him, but the main way Zelda inspires me is that his personality is like, I don't care. And like, by him having that personality, made my personality the same way. Like, I used to care what people think about me. Now, ever since I've been watching Zoe, I don't give two cares about him. I can't say the F word, but I'm not gonna say that. I don't care anymore. It's like my personality, my self-esteem has changed. Like he has helped me like out a whole bunch like with my personality. Cause now if I hurt your feelings, okay, I don't care. It's just like that. Because I'm telling you, you need to watch though. He'll help you out. Especially those who struggle with low self-esteem. Watch goddamn Zoe. So the person, well not the fourth person, but the second person that has inspired me is Ricky Thompson. Yes. I'm a swag money. I'm on the swag money team. What is good? Yes, I'm team swag money all day. Yes, like Ricky Thompson. Like, oh my God, if you guys don't know who Ricky Thompson is, Ricky Thompson is another Viner that, that also migrated to YouTube that's like amazing right now. Like, the reason why Ricky Thompson has inspired me is because he recently moved to Los Angeles, California. And he is originally from Concord, North Carolina. And like for him to like move from North Carolina all the way to California and is still doing his thing and like is still making his money and still like, you know, doing vibes and things like that. It just inspires me so much because like Oh my God, it just shows you that, you know, you can go from being, you know, doing like Vine and only having two followers to having like, go to YouTube and have like 500,000 subscribers, you know? And I'm not saying that Ricky Thompson um, is a, is, I'm trying to be like Ricky Thompson, excuse me, I'm not trying to be like Ricky Thompson, but I'm just saying that Ricky Thompson is probably one of the main reasons why 
I'm doing YouTube now because, like I said, Ricky Thompson is amazing. You need to go look him up, you guys. Like, it's just like his story. Like, like I've seen him when he has come from his YouTube videos. Like, I can just see where he's come from. And like, Ricky Thompson has really helped me out a lot because this shows how much how successful you can actually be in social media and doing YouTube and doing all these things that we're doing in social media. It just shows you how successful you can really be in this. You know, in this world, I guess I can say, yeah. Team Swag Money all day. You knew. A person that inspires me on YouTube and in my personal life is Jer Wu. Period. Jer Wu is a men's fashion blogger. He is on YouTube. His videos are mainly styling and tips about how you can change your style. That's my main thing that I'm in right now is men's fashion. Like, I go shopping all the time. I have all types of clothes. I have all types of scarves. I have all types of, all types of hats, shoes. You can name it. I have it all. It is because of Jerry Wood. He has actually helped me change and alter my style as far as the way I look and dress. He has really helped me out. And, um, you know, just looking at his video has helped my personal style out and it inspires me because, like, you can go from looking, like, one way and looking at his, all his videos, like, he has a whole bunch and you can, like, be changed in, like, um, um, like, in 30 minutes or less. Like, I just sat down one day and just look at all his videos and, like, I was changed. I was like, oh my God, why have this in my closet? And, you know, I can buy this and make my closet look, you know, so yeah, you help my personal style on Jerry Wu. The last, um, well, this is actually an organization that really has helped me. And the organization name is To Write Love Home Own To Write Love Own Her Arms. Yes. Um, this is a nonprofit organization. If you don't know what To Write Love on Her Arms is, it's a nonprofit organization that really helps people who are struggling with committing well struggling with suicidal thoughts or trying to commit suicide they're the type of people that you will speak to to stop all that and i actually used to have episodes where i wanted to end my life because of the way my life was set up and you know how i was and things like that i was starting with depression as a kid and um i found out to write love on arms by one of my friends when i was in high school I said you should really look at this website and, and like it would like if you struggle with you know this and that it will really help you out so I checked it out and oh my god it, it's like changed my life completely they inspire me so much because they are their permanent mission is to save people and give people hope and they do that through their organization like they have different conferences like heavy and light which they have like different bands and things like that and they have different pole riders they have all types of things going on they have their own you know t-shirt line all the type of stuff it is amazing like they're all about trying to you know prevent suicide and what i'm thinking about today is actually suicide prevention day so you know to everybody that was trying to commit suicide or cutting themselves or burning themselves you made it you're here so yay high five to you and high well not thumbs up well thumbs up and high five to you and thumbs up high five to swallow which is the best organization nonprofit organization that can help people that try to commit suicide yeah so that's it with uh, really so that's it for this part of this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it because it's just about some people that are like main like people I look up to in my life. Just five of them, you know. Yeah. But if you did like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos. Try to do videos every Friday. If I don't, it'll probably be on a Saturday. But it's usually a Friday when I upload my videos. Like I said, like and subscribe to my channel. And stay Stay tuned for part two of this week's videos. Like I always said, at the end of all my videos, you guys, just to be positive means to keep a smile on your face and stay go. And that means don't care about what people say about you. Bye.